Hey everybody, it's Doug Green and I'm the publisher of Technology Reseller News. And I'm very pleased to have with us today, Sam King, who's the Chief Commercial Officer at GigSky. Sam, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Doug. Well, uh, I'm excited to be doing uh, another podcast basically about uh, eSIM and how eSIMs are going to basically represent, I think, a remarkable opportunity to our channel and MSP readers. I think also this is a really interesting solution for some of the challenges facing enterprises in a variety of different verticals. So we're going to dive right into that topic. But Sam, first of all, what is GigSky? Sure. So GigSky is a uh, mobile operator. Um, we, we operate our own packet core. We make our own SIM cards. We're based in the, in the U.S. And, um, you know, we provide a, a data-only SIM card right now that uh, covers, you know, 200 plus countries and territories around the world. Um, we also have uh, roaming partnerships that enable us to cover some unique destinations globally, including on over 200 cruise ships, uh, as well as uh, networks in the North Sea in the Gulf of Mexico, um, serving primarily the oil and gas uh, workers that, um, that work in those locations. So, you know, Sam, I think I want to drill right down into the big headline I think you just gave us, which is you're U.S.-based mm -hmm. and you're generating your own eSIM. That's right. That's right. So, um, you know, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of our competitors. So we operate a consumer and an enterprise business. So our consumer business is, you know, very straightforward. You can download our app. Uh, and you can, um, through the app, if you have an eSIM compatible device that's unlocked, you can, you know, buy a plan from us, download our eSIM and um, use the iOS or Android capability of dual SIM, dual standby to unbundle talk, text and data from your home operator. Uh, and primarily the use case is to save money on international data roaming. Uh, so instead of paying $12 a day, um, you can buy a plan from us um, that'll you know, depending on your trip, your trip length, you know, uh, when you go to Europe, um, you'd be able to stay connected and probably save 75, 80% um, over your, you know, Verizon roaming bill, for example, if you're a U.S. consumer. Um, so that's the, the consumer use case. It's all, all prepaid. Um, our competition uh, basically is in the consumer side, there's, you know, 100 other companies out there from around the world uh, selling you an eSIM except they're not selling you their eSIM. They're white labeling an eSIM from Orange, France, Vodafone, China Mobile. Uh, you know, you don't know whose eSIM you're actually getting until you buy it. And even then it can be a little tricky to figure it out. Then based on whoever's eSIM it is, your data is being routed, you know, through that carrier's, uh, you know, data centers and out to the internet there. Um, you know, I won't name names, but one of our competitors said that they were a U.S. company uh, and they were selling a China mobile eSIM. Uh, if you know how to look it up, you can you can find that out. So like with us, we're very transparent. And um, uh, because we're a, a mobile operator, we can do some things like uh, not just the bespoke roaming agreements to get, uh, you know, like cruise connectivity. We're the only one that's able to, to provide that. Uh, but we're also able to shift traffic uh, when there's an outage. Uh, we control what mobile networks uh, we use. So if you remember the AT&T outage in February, uh, our European customers that were in the US, um, we were able to move them over to a different operator when AT&T went down. So they all stayed connected. Um, so, so those are some examples of things that we can, that we can do on the, on the consumer side because it's our network. Um, unlike our competitors, we also have a, a B2B uh, postpaid business. Um, we're very strong in uh, the verticals of aviation, logistics. Uh, we've also done some, some work in mining. Uh, and we offer custom networking solutions for, for our enterprise customers. Like uh, we can whitelist and blacklist uh, websites on the, um, you know, on the network level. So you don't have to invest in like an MDM client to be able to do that. Um, we can uh, do custom VPN solutions, custom traffic routing, other sort of things that a big telco won't usually do for uh, for their their enterprise customers. Um, and a and you know the small like eSIM reseller you know companies they just not they can't do any of that because they're not network operators. So we try to operate that that area uh, in the 
in the middle there. Um, and, uh, you know, what also might be me interesting for your, for your readers is, uh, we also have a, you know, very developed reseller capability on the B2B side. Uh, so, you know, we have, um, partners who are able to, you know, white label our connectivity and bundle it in with devices, for example, that they might, uh, that they might sell or system integrators, um, is another big constituency that, you know, are, are going into a company and, um, you know, want to bundle in connectivity with other uh, products or services that they're selling. And we enable them to do that uh, and to set up their own kind of customized uh, connectivity solution and be able to bill for it, um, you know, on their on their paper. You know, uh, before we go any further, I want to learn a little bit more about, especially if you're an enterprise or if you're selling to an enterprise and especially mm -hmm. in some of the uh, verticals you mentioned, logistics, mining, aviation and so on. Why is it important to have a U.S. based company as a partner? Yeah, I think you know the um, you know sometimes it's uh, statutorily required. Um, so, so first of all, know, there's the law and, and there's regulation. The, there's the law. Yes, right. um, we have done some um, federal government uh, contracts um, and are, are working towards uh, being added to the to the GSA GSA schedule. Um, so that's, so that's part of it in, in other areas, you know, it, it could be due to the, the security of the, of the traffic, um, you know, want to be able to, you know, have the confidence that, um, the traffic is being routed securely, you know, in data centers in the U S or Europe, um, you know, out to the internet, uh, so that it complies with the, um, business practices sort of established by the, you know, by our, our, our clients. So is this also then, so not only is there regulatory compliance and so on, is it if you're going back to the MSPs and the channels, if I'm talking to an enterprise customer, is this a competitive advantage to be presenting? Yes, I think so. I think so. You, you know, and, and, and also to have that like complete transparency on, you know, where exactly how the data is being routed from the device, you know, out to the, to the internet. Um, so, you know, we're able to, to customize that if there are certain, you know, VPN switches that the, that the client wants to use, um, you know, that, that, that's important to them to meet the security requirements of their IT departments. Um, you know, we are, we are willing to customize for enterprise customers. It just in, in ways that, um, you know, if you call up, uh, AT&T or T-Mobile, um, or Vodafone, it can, you have to be very large. Uh, to be able to get the kind of attention that we would we would provide, um, and you know our salespeople are one call away from you know our our developers, uh, which enable us to do these kind of hand in glove um, enterprise solutions. Mm -hmm. You know, let's uh, let's stay with that for a second because increasingly I think we're hearing more and more about about this type of thing that you know you can go off with different people out there, but uh, comes the day when you need support or help. Mm -hmm. A U.S. based or domestic based company might be able to just respond more quickly. Yes, uh, that's right. So you know we're um, you know we have our our, our we have twenty four by seven by three sixty five uh, care, um, and you know our, our 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 care team is 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 based here in the in the U.S. and you know really not just the the geographic proximity but also um the organizational proximity to be able to um you know we're a small company and so you know sales and sales engineering and um and the product team and the engineering team all work very closely together uh and, and we built our 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 stuff you know we built all you know our sim management platform we built our reseller platform um you know most uh you know large telcos they uh, they outsource their, the different platforms to, you know, to different companies. And it's a, it's a vendor management exercise, which is, which is fine and understandable. I mean, I used to work at AT&T, like I, I, I understand why that, that's done. Um, but it's just, it, it makes it difficult to, to do kind of customization and, uh, to be able to, you know, solution through a specific use case with an enterprise customer, just because, you know, when you start to mess with things that have, uh, you know, 200 million sim cards on them it, it's difficult to make changes whereas we can be a little bit more flexible and quick so sam as we uh, wrap up our podcast today can you give us a couple of uh, cases where partners are already succeeding with this yeah absolutely so 
Um, on the consumer side of our business, you know, we, we have a partnership with Visa, the, the credit card company, um, and they've bundled our connectivity in with a, a, some credit cards in the, in the U.S. and in Latin America. Um, and, you know, we're really interested in partnering with, uh, you know, hotels or travel agents or, you know, other, other folks that are interested in offering uh, sort of data connectivity to their, um, to their customers as an, as an extension, as a, as, either as a complimentary benefit or as, um, an upsell opportunity, you know, we can easily set, uh, different folks up that are in sort of a, a B2C model, um, to be able to, you know, leverage international data connectivity in order to enhance their, their product offering. Um, and on the, on the enterprise side, you know, I mentioned our, our reseller platform, um, you know, we, uh, we work with some big logistics companies, um, where, you know, when they set up uh, sort of snap warehouses that don't have fiber into them, like we can provide, uh, you know, rapid deployed data connectivity so that the, to keep warehouse logistics going. And we do work with some, you know, uh, resellers that, um, you know, use our resale platform to bundle their connectivity into connected devices that are then in turn sold into larger uh, platforms. You know, you can think of, of engines, for example, um, where the engine manufacturer is, 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 is working in, in that kind of context. Um, and, and also, you know, reselling into the, to the mining industry is, uh, is an area of focus as well. So we're, we're flexible. We love to partner and um, we love to, to, you know, hear, hear more about people's ideas about how to weave connectivity into their offering. Well, Sam, it's uh, been really interesting talking to you today. Thank you for uh, giving our MSP and channel partner community some interesting ideas for new opportunities. Where can we learn more? Sure. Uh, you can um, reach out to sales at gigsguy.com uh, or go to our website at gigsguy.com. And, um, you know, we'd love to, uh, to hear more and, and talk. Sam, again, thank you very much indeed. I know we're going to be talking again soon, but for now, thanks very much. All right. Thank you very much, Doug.